Hello, welcome to another episode of Home Cooking with me, Robbie Reviews. Today I'm going to be baking pretzels, the popular German snack. We're going to be serving these alongside an IPA beer cheese. Let's cook! To start things off, I've got 300 ml of lukewarm water, it's about 40 degrees, 4 teaspoons of yeast, a teaspoon of sugar. Put that aside and let it activate for 10 minutes while we get out our dry ingredients. We've got 625 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of bicarbonate soda, this is going to go into a litre of hot water, and 100 grams of caster sugar. We're also going to need some salt and some vegetable oil. Begin by mixing together the flour sugar and one and a half teaspoons of salt and then form a well at the centre. Gradually pour your activated yeast into the middle sides of the well. Mix this together until it forms a dough. This feels a bit dry so we're just going to add a splash more water. I'm going to tip this out onto a well floured surface I'm going to knead for six to eight minutes so it feels nice and elastic. Okay, we've kneaded that for about eight minutes and it's very smooth and elastic. See if it's ready, we're gonna give it a stretch. We won't be able to see on the camera, but I can see light coming through. Right, we're gonna very lightly oil the bowl. Okay, we're gonna cover that with a tea towel and we're gonna to prove it for about an hour. Right, while that's proving, we're gonna make the beer cheese. You're gonna need 250 grams of grated cheddar. 30 grams of butter, 160 ml of IPA, 240 ml of milk, I'm using oat milk because I'm a loser, some mustard, some paprika, some Worcestershire sauce and about 3 tablespoons of plain flour. Begin by melting the butter, now we're going to add our flour, whisk that flour in for about a minute so it forms a nice thick paste. That's the kind of consistency you're looking for. Keep whisking for about one more minute. I'm going to add a teaspoon of that mustard, the beer, two teaspoons of the Worcestershire. Sprinkle of paprika. Finally, the cheese. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a lot of beer cheese. Heat your oven to about 230 degrees. Was one of my favourite bits, seeing how well proved it is. Oh yes, that is huge, lovely and airy. Oh your surface, probably a bit lighter than I've done. But oh, well. oh, that is lovely. We're going to divide this into twelve equal pieces. Okay, we have 12 balls here, so we're going to put them aside and work with them one at a time. Start by rolling it into a sausage. So make a horseshoe, twist it over, and again, let's keep a nice circle. Ooh, cut it down. Add a litre of hot water to a bowl. Thank you, Jade. 
and then the bicarbonate of soda. This is going to give them that pretzel flavour you all associate with pretzels. Then we get our salt. We're going to bake these for eight minutes. They're out of the oven now, very hot. So this was one where I went for a bigger loop, more of the traditional pretzel shape. And then these ones, they've kind of fused together but they'll make good pretzel buns for burgers. Maybe they proved too long or maybe we just didn't roll them. This one I rolled a really long sausage. So if you want the traditional look sausage it. But then again look how glossy them ones are. I really want to break one open but they're a bit hot. Try that recipe. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe.